It's time for another Battle of the Bank Boxes, round two. Hey everybody, it's Rob with Raw Finds Treasure and I had so much fun on my first bank box battle, I decided to go ahead and do it again. Matter of fact, if you don't know, we're gonna do it 10 times. At the end of the first round, Wells Fargo scored 41 points, Chase scored 22 and a half, and Bank of America took it with 46 and a half points. I've got my scoring key down here. I've got the fines above here listed. This is just how I like to look and hunt for things. Oddly enough, even the Chase Bank and the Bank of America boxes look like the Wells Fargo one this week. Normally I get the thin boxes for these ones. This is the typical box of Wells Fargo. And then the Bank of America has been the ones with the holes in it. But either way, it's different banks. And to top it off, all three branches are different bank branches than I got the last hunt. So, pretty cool. We're kicking off the hunt in normal style with B of A again. And I don't see any enders on that side. I see some dirty ones and I see a lot of copper. So I'm curious to get into this box and then we'll kick it into the Chase Bank and we'll finish off with the Wells Fargo last. So that being said, let's kick it off. All right guys, roll number two's been pretty good so far. We found a 1969S, not the DDO. 2009 and we're gonna find our first foreign coin of the box and it looks like it's a young head and it's a 53 so that's a good Canadian cent we just found and since I got you here just to make sure we haven't found anything else I'll be checking for double dies and uh, anything else but that's all I could see at first glance so let's get back to the hunt roll four is gonna give us our first wheat penny of the box got a little bit of discoloration on the back but looks like it's a 41s Cool toning on the board. Roll number 10, just laid it out and about four or five coins down, we've got a wheat scent. 1951. Roll 13 is gonna yield our third wheat penny of the box and it's facing me, so 51 Philadelphia. Same roll guys, just a few coins later, I saw it peeking out when I slid them down. 51D, so two 51s in the same roll. Four for the box now. Roll number 16, gonna have our fifth wheat penny. I think it's a 42. No, man, my eyes are bad. 1935, Philadelphia. Wow, we got a 30s. I don't know why I thought it was a 42, maybe because it was sideways and I just thought it said 42. But oldest of the box and a pre 40s, we'll take it. Roll 22, guys, gonna have our sixth wheat penny of the box, and this one is a 1944. So we'll add it to the collection and find some more. Roll number 27 is gonna give us our seventh wheat penny, and we get to reveal the date on this one. Pretty good detail on the wheat ears, but it is a 45D. So it is our fourth oldest of the box and our seventh overall. Very next roll, roll 28, and I laid them out, and I can see a weedy. And you know what? I love when they're not facing me when they're on their reverse, because it gives me a chance to see what they are. 57D, one of the newest you could possibly have, second to last year weedy, but number eight. Same roll, we're gonna have weedy number nine. This one's facing me, and I could see it. It's a 41 Philadelphia. Roll number 38, guys, and this roll just exploded on me, but as it exploded, we found a wee penny. Looks pretty new, but it's only a 44. So it's our second 44, Philadelphia, pretty good shape, and uh, not a hunt this mess. Roll 45 is gonna yield a second Canadian, peeking out from behind that other penny. It's gonna be a 1975, second of the box. Just pulled out roll 46, and it's gonna have a wheat scent ender on it. Here's that ender. 52D. All right, everyone, another box of pennies hunted. Usual amount of copper, pretty good finds. We got 1409s, two Canadians, a 59, one AU type. It is not the greatest, but it's a 61D, so I'll hold on to it. And we found 169S, but it's not the DDO. We did get 11 wheat pennies. The star of the box is really the one that caught me off guard. A 1935 Philadelphia. Wasn't expecting a 30s penny, so we'll take it. And then, I found a crack die I don't usually find too often. The 2000 P's, I always check for the wide AM when I flipped it around and I'll show it to you on camera. It's obviously not the wide AM, but look at this die crack right there. 
pretty significant. Runs into the uh, building. Pretty, pretty well into the building. So I thought it was a good find. It's my first 2000 die crack, so we'll take it. You can see it with the naked eye right there as well. At the end of the day, I've logged the stats onto the sheet. So B of A had another good box, more than 10 Wheaties. One is even uh, pre-40s, a good amount of other finds as well. Now we're gonna move on to Chase Bank and a chance to redeem itself after the last bad box. Roll number five of the Chase box, got our first Wheat Penny here, it's facing me. So it's a 51D and we've been finding a lot of 51Ds lately in the last several boxes. So I don't know what that means, but we're finding them. Roll number seven. Gonna have our first foreign, which is a Canadian, 1988. So we'll put that on the board and check it out. Have my heart going for a second. 69D, AU shape. Man, I wish it was an S. Roll number nine, sliding them down. I see a wheat penny facing me, 48D. All right, second of the box, and that's the oldest so far. Roll 14. We're gonna have another Canadian back here. A 1963, young head. All right, we'll take it. And we'll get back to the hunt. All right, guys, rule 21, I'm pretty excited. I laid him out. I do see a wheat scent there, and I think I see what appears to be a wheat scent here, just by that relief on it. Yep. A 1936S. Not fully familiar with the number of mintage on the 36S, but I know for the longest time I was needing one. So I'll have to look at that in a second. While I have you here, let's go ahead and pull this one out. A 46D. So not a bad roll there so far. I don't think I see anything at first glance, but we'll get into that roll in a second. Let me do a little research on a 36S. Yeah, just over 29 million minted. So not a key or semi-key, but definitely a lower mint being under that 50 million mark. We'll add it to the collection up there. That's our first pre-40s weedy. And we'll put the 46D where it belongs. Back up to four through 21 rolls. Roll 22, another wheat penny. A 1953 Philadelphia. Roll 33, guys, gonna have our sixth wheat penny of the box. It was already facing me, so we've got a 57D. It's a newer one, but I will definitely take another wheat penny, and let's look for more. Same roll, guys, just a few coins behind that one. We got the back of another wheat penny, and it's another 57D. So that now makes seven wheat pennies in the box. Chase is not letting us down this time. Roll 36, guys, gonna have our eighth wheat penny of the box. It's facing me, so I saw it. 56D. Same rule, guys, and uh, we've got another wheat penny back here, and I'm hoping it's old by the way it looks. You never know for sure, though. I get a lot of 40s that are toast. This one looks pretty toast. It's a 35D. All right. Not a key or semi-key, but another 30s nonetheless. That's a really good... Uh, it's a good box for me because I haven't got a lot of pre-40s Wheaties in a while and it's good to see two in one box. So, man, and if I recall, that's my third or fourth roll with at least two wheat pennies in it. So that's kind of a new thing too. That makes nine, one more for double digits. <laughs> and we still got 14 rolls to go. Roll 38, I laid them out. I see a wheat penny, but before I went to grab that, pretty nice 1961D in the front. Oh, not as nice as we thought. Let's see what kind of wheat penny this is. Well, we know what kind it is. Let's see what year it is. 45. Roll 43, wheat penny number 11. I saw it, 53D. Good sign, roll 44, laid them out. I see a wheat penny back here. Looks pretty good from far distance. It's a 42D. All right, guys, the chase box is hunted and a uh, pretty good amount of copper. We ended up with only 709s, two foreigns, two 59s, one 69S, a whole bunch of pretty nice coins here, 10. Thank goodness for the 79D roll that must have been opened in this batch because uh, 
Eight of those are from 79D. 12 wheat pennies. The stars of the show, a 35D and a 36S. That's going to help the chase numbers quite a bit when I plug them in. But we got to get to the Wells Fargo box next. And we'll see who won round two. And who's winning overall. All right, guys. We're getting ready to start the Wells Fargo box. But I figured I better show you anyway. We've got a Uraka Ender. So that's pretty good. That's a Un Centissimo de Balboa from Panama. All right. Let's start cracking into the rolls. All right, guys. Roll number two. Off to a pretty good start. No wheat pennies yet. But we did find a Canadian. 1983 on the board with a four and find. Roll number six has that uh, Uraka Ender. Figure we take a look together. Pretty beat up. It's from uh, Balboa, Panama. Not too bad, 1983. Second four into the box. Still no wheat pennies, but we're just cracking into roll number six, so we got a ways to go. All right, it took 12 rolls, but we got our first wheat penny of the box. Nineteen fifty S. We'll take it. Roll number thirteen, and we're gonna have our third four of the box. It's another Canadian. It's more modern though, but we'll take it. Oh, it's one of those fifty-year commemoratives. Two thousand two. Roll fourteen. Gonna have our second wheat penny of the box. I think it's a forty-six. It is out of Philadelphia. All right. There's two. We're on roll 28. Looks like we're gonna have another wheat penny in this roll. Spilled them out. I can see it here. Looks like it might be more of a modern one, but let's take a look. 51. Same roll, just a few coins later. We've got a 1953D. So that's gonna make wheat penny number four. Roll number 30, guys. We've got another wheat penny and it's gonna be our fifth of the box. Looks like it's newer as well. Oh, it's not that bad, 41. It's actually the oldest of the box now. Wheat penny. Number five. Roll 32, we're gonna have wheat penny number six. Just laid it out and I see a little wheat scent peeking out back here. Looks like it's another 46. Roll number 43, guys, we've got another Canadian here and this one's a young head. What year is she? 1964. Same roll, just spied a uh, 53 Philadelphia wheat penny. So that is Wheat Penny, number seven of the box, second from 1953. Roll 47 looks like it's gonna be a dandy because I just spied a Wheat Penny there and I looked up and towards the back of the roll, there's a second one. So let's grab this one first. Hmm. I think it's a 1956. So, pretty toasty for a newer one. Let's just double check that under the scope. Yep, 1956. Newest of the box, looks like one of the worst. And back here is another one. This one looks like it's in pretty good shape. 1958. So a couple of 50s, puts us at nine. Can we get one more to make 10? All right, everyone, we finished that uh, final box of this three box challenge, the Wells Fargo box. We ended up with nine wheat pennies. The oldest of the box was a 41, so nothing really great there. I did pull out this 77. I really like the toning on it. Probably hard to see in this lighting, but it's got like a bluish gray tint. It's really cool. And I pulled out this 84. You can't see it right now, but he's got like a mole on his cheek, like a little dye chip uh, air. So I kept that one. We got 1109s, four foreigns, 459s, a couple of pretty nice 70s coins. Got my fingerprints on, I'm gonna wipe them down. And uh, at the end of the day, I plugged in the Wells Fargo scoring box uh, template here. So the first round was won by Bank of America with a 46 and a half point box. Second round was won by Chase with a 51 and a half. So right now, Chase has won around, Bank of America's won around, but in the overall two boxes for the ranking points, B of A's got the best so far. Second is Wells Fargo and third is Chase. Stay tuned for another episode. We'll be doing another three box battle here within the week. Hopefully you're enjoying these three box battles. If you are, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy hunting. And thanks for watching.